Hello everybody, Ninja and I'm Sanjay. The chill and not chill are really easy. Just the moment I've had in my car on my way to work, I'm Sanjay has literally just moved me to park my car safely so that I can record and share this. I literally have been so overcome with emotion. We're in a really difficult space in life, whether you're in South Africa or you're in the world. And today we've been um using the hashtag that black lives matter uh and we've had hashtags before about countless things that we believe are important to us we jump on the bandwagon today tomorrow the next day a few days from now we think about something else we're talking about something else we've all moved on but where what happens to the feelings that we have today what happens to the feelings that we've had about these matters for so long what happens and what is our contribution because at some stage when are we going to realize help is not coming if we're not willing to step up ourselves and every single day advocate for the things that we feel so passionately about things like black lives matter when i say things i mean topics conversations the things that affect us in our daily lives whether you directly or the people around you we point fingers all the time at people who give us broken promises. Are we keeping our own promises to ourselves about the things that we say we want? Are you a decision maker in your place of work, in your line of calling, in your ministry that has anything to do with making a decision that can change the way our lives are lived? Not only as black people, not only as women, not only as queer people, not only as people who don't have financial resources, not only as whatever it is that we all like to point out that separates us. There's so much that is within our power. If we could stop looking at everybody else and start taking accountability in our everyday actions, in our messages, in our conversations, in the things that we choose to do with our careers, with our lives, that advance the causes that we are passionate about. I'm listening to the song, it's your song, it's Oceans. I'm going to paraphrase, you know, my memory of the lyrics of the song. But it's talking about, in this particular instance, God taking you out into the middle of the ocean. Where you have nothing but your faith to depend on. We're in a space, guys, where no other weapon is going to work at this stage. We need to step into a space where we can call on the supernatural faith that we believe in. Your creator. Lo ubambelela kuye ikamala ke ngubani kuwe. Thetha naye. Siyaphela guys, siyaphela. Oko koko, sasithetha into enye. Who is going to be accountable? I want to be accountable. This is not the world I want to leave for our son, for our children. Isizukulwana sethu. Sisa pila kanje. Tetani na bantu bene. Tetani na bantu batala. Uba nikole lwa kubo. Tetani na tiko. Uba nikole lwa kuye. Asisu kwa azu kubeka kanje. We need to all in our everyday actions. Not just a post when it's cool. Not just a conversation because everybody's watching. In our everyday lives. We need to stop messing around. We need to focus on the things that we really say are important to us. Are you in a position to empower a black owned business? Are you a black person who wants to put up their hand and say, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to make this thing work? Are you a person who says, I don't have anything by the way of materials, but damn, I can pray. Does anybody need prayer? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Because a post today, just today, just on Tuesdays, that's not enough. It's never gonna be enough. If you're sick and tired of the state of the whole world, put up your hand, man, put up your hand and do something about it. Do something about it right now. Do something about it right now. And every day until things start to change, real change. And that's what I care about.